I'm the Genius Asian. Welcome to the Genius Family. Today I'm going to show you how to make five different DIY portable bidets. This will save money in the environment and help you cope on occasions when toilet paper is sold out in the stores. Most people already know this, but if you don't have toilet paper, using other kinds of paper will in most cases clog your toilet. So don't do it. I just finished using this water pick for cleaning my teeth, and it occurred to me that I have more than one nozzle for this water pick dental flosser. I am using this white nozzle for my teeth, but I could use this blue one to clean, well, other parts of the body. This water jet is quite strong. It will surely clean you thoroughly. However, it may be too strong for some people. Plus, psychologically, yeah, it's gross. So. I cut a tube, one end connects to the nozzle. I use a glue gun to block the other end. You can probably use other things to block it. Then I poke a hole. Now, the jet is not too strong and is not too weak. You can either hold the tubing every time you use it, or you can tape it under the toilet seat. If you are traveling, you only need to bring this light tube that does not occupy much space. A lot of people don't have a water flosser, however, if you don't have a water flosser, then you can use an empty shampoo bottle because these bottles are intended by design to be squeezed many times easily. There are various designs for shampoo bottles. We will look at a couple of them. See, this is a shampoo bottle with a small opening that I can insert the tube right into, but it may not seal tightly. So I wrap a piece of tape around the tube and rotate to squeeze the tape in along with the tube creating a tight seal. If you can't do this, you could just use tape around the connecting area to seal it. This tube is naturally curved like this. We want the nozzle to point up, but we also want the other end to point down so that the end of the tube is immersed in the water when the bottle is tilted. To bend the tube back, we cut a piece from the perimeter of a yogurt lid. Use a few rubber bands to fasten the tube to our curved piece. When using it, make sure you don't tilt the bottom of the bottle too high so that the tube will remain under the water surface. See, it works. You may have noticed that there is a nozzle on one end of the tube in this design. We will show you how this nozzle is made next. If you have a flexible water bottle you don't use, you can also use that. See, this water bottle is sealed tight. You pull the spout straight up to drink water. Notice there is a very tiny hole on the top. Now, when I block the tiny hole with my finger and squeeze the bottle, the water comes out of the spout. I use that same tube we just made in the previous example. It fits quite snugly inside the spout. I will show you another easy way to make a nozzle. I slit the tube with a knife along its length. Squeeze the tube to make the opening smaller to form a nozzle shape. Use tape to secure the form. See, it works pretty well. If you find that the angle is not perfect, you can always heat the tube to bend it. The speed of the water jet depends on two factors. One is the pressure, the other is the size of the hole. The smaller the hole is, the faster the jet. So, the hole in this design should be bigger than the water flosser because the water bottle is not designed to seal when there is high pressure. And I find for some bottles, the tube inside the bottle is not sealed well. So I wrap a piece of tape around the tube and the inside tip to make a perfect seal. Since this water bottle's outer seal design is sealed very well, this internal tubing is the weakest link for this design. If you prefer to use the bottle upside down, then you need to remove this inner tube and make sure that the tiny hole is sealed well. With the upside down design, you really need to make it watertight to avoid a flooding mishap. In the upside down case, therefore, I would prefer a simpler design, such as the next one. If you don't have anything special, you can use a regular water bottle. Use an awl, like this one, or any other device that will poke a hole in the cap. If you tilt the bottle to one side, the water has to shoot at an angle towards the other side. 
If the angle is still not right, you can partially cover it with tape. See, it works. If you are traveling, you may poke holes in different bottle caps if they have different threads, because packing caps occupies less space than one bottle. If you have a shampoo bottle with a secured cap with a hidden spout like this, you can use it directly. See, it works. When the cap is tightened, the cap for this bottle happened to end up at an inconvenient angle. However, loosening it, turning it, even 90 degrees to improve the angle may cause it to leak in the upside down position. You can wrap a piece of tape around the threads to adjust to a more convenient angle. See, now it ends up angled differently by about 90 degrees. The water jet angle is okay for me, but if this does not work for you, you can change the angle. Cut a piece of plastic like this from a yogurt lid. Crease and bend it like this. Use a glue gun to build a water guide. Glue this piece to the cap and fill gaps with a glue gun so that it has a good water path. It works. Of course, you can watch my other video on how to install a bidet seat. The inexpensive bidet seat does not offer a feminine wash, only the high-end unit has the front wash feature. So still, this video of a portable bidet for front wash can benefit the needs of female users, even if you still use a simple bidet seat. Anyway, in general, there are bidet solutions that are not that expensive. You can recoup the money pretty fast. Plus. It is cleaner and better for your skin, prevents toilet clogs, and is better for the environment. Share this with people who you know that need it. Leave your own Genius Tips in the comment section below. Don't forget, I'm the Genius Asian. Subscribe for more useful videos.